This video has been created by petition and has to do with how to use the HP 50G and the HP 49G Plus to solve a system of linear equations where coefficients are complex numbers. In short, how to write those two or three or four or more linear equations with complex numbers for coefficients as a matrix equation like the one you see here and solve that in your HP calculator. Let's do that. In the second part of this video, we will see where these equations come from. They actually describe an electric circuit operating in AC steady state conditions. But that has nothing to do with how we use the HP to solve the system of equations. First, let me compute this coefficient inverse of 0.1 plus j.2. I enter in the calculator, round parenthesis, 0.1 space 0.2. And right then and there, I click on inverse, and we have the first term of this operation. And next, the inverse of 0 plus j.7. We go to the calculator, round parenthesis 0, space, 0 0.7, inverse. And now we have those two terms. We might as well add them together. Addition. The third one, 0 0.1, space, 0 0.3, inverse, round parenthesis, 0.1 space 0.3 invert and addition that is the first coefficient of our matrix if we were using matrix standard notation we would say that is a sub 1 1 the next coefficient is 0.1 space 0.3 inverse change sign round parenthesis 0.1 space 0.3 inverse change sign next we enter because we are doing this row wise element by element in each one of the rows we go for this one but this one happens to be a duplication of the one before so we only have to type enter enter we have a11 a12 a21 let's compute a22 in that matrix this one 0.1 space 0.3 inverse round parenthesis 0.1 space 0.3 inverse 5 space negative 10, round parenthesis, 5 space 10, negative, inverse, addition, inverse of 8, 8, inverse, addition, 9 space 9, round parenthesis, 9 space 9, inverse, addition, we have the four coefficients of our matrix and we request the calculator to make a two by two matrix for us. Curly braces, two space two. If you haven't seen so far the HP 50 and matrix and vectors, the video, please go and watch it. That will help you understand what is what I'm doing here. Enter, I ask the calculator, to make us a matrix of two rows and two columns with the four numbers on the stack already with this make me an array function. Click. That is the matrix of coefficients. Now let's go for the vector of independent terms. 100 with 10 degrees, round parenthesis, 100 with an angle of alpha, red, 6, 10 degrees. I make sure that actually the calculator is in degrees. The calculator right now is in rectangular mode, so as soon as I type enter, this complex number 100 with 10 degrees will be represented in rectangular mode, but that doesn't change its value. Enter, 0.1 space 0.2, divide, round parenthesis, 0.1 space 0.2, divide. That is the first term of that vector on the right-hand side, this one. 110 with 90 degrees round parenthesis 100 and 10 alpha red 6 with 90 degrees enter divided by 0 space 0 0.7 round parenthesis 0 space 0 0.7 division those are the two coefficients of that vector what i do is i say enter two two elements and make me an array with those two elements and that is the vector on the right hand side now, all I do using the HP jargon is divide this vector by that matrix, swap, divide. And lo and behold that those are the two unknowns we were trying to solve for 
V1 and V2. Of course, they are represented in rectangular form because that is the current mode of the calculator. Let me set it up in polar form and we see that those two values, V1 and V2, are represented in polar as well, like this and like that. If we were solving an electric circuit in AC, we would say that the voltage of node 1, V1, has an RMS voltage of 95.6 volts and a phase shift of 26 degrees. A node 2 has a V2 voltage of 133 RMS voltage with a phase of 38 degrees.